Hello and welcome to the Device D channel. In this video, we will be using Google Apps Script to automatically increment or create a unique ID in a Google Sheet. Google Apps Script is a powerful tool that allows you to extend the functionality of Google applications like Sheets, Docs, and Forms. By using a simple script, we can easily create a new ID each time a new row is added to our sheet, ensuring that each entry has a unique identifier. This can be especially useful when working with large datasets or when you need to track specific entries in your sheet. Follow along as we walk through the step-by-step -step process of setting up this useful script in Google Sheets. First, go to the Google Sheets page. And create a new spreadsheet. Then, create columns for ID, name, email, and password. Use background colors to make the sheet easier to read. Next, click on the Extensions menu and select App Script. I will create a function to insert a new row into the Google Sheet. Save the changes and run the insert function. Allow permissions when prompted. The data has been successfully added. Run the insert function again. And the data will be added, but the ID will be the same as the previous entry. Now, try changing the ID value manually and running the function again. The data is added with a different ID, but it was done manually. So how do we make the ID value increment automatically? Create a new function and write the code like this. This function will return a unique ID for each call.
The code takes advantage of the property service provided by AppScript. Save and run the Unicade function. The function returns the value 1, and if it is called again, the function will return 2 and so on. This means that the value of the function will increase by 1 with each call. Delete all existing data. Replace the ID value with the Unicade function using the Sheet1 table. To avoid confusion, make the table name the same as the sheet name. Save the changes and then run the insert function. The data has been added with ID1. Add new data without changing the ID. OK, the data has been added with ID2. Add one more data. Great, the data has been added with ID3. This means the Unicade function is working correctly. Now, how to reset the Unicade value? Create a function with the following code. Now run the Unicade function. Now run the Reset Unicade function. And run the Unicade function again. The function will return the value 1 which means the unique ID has been reset by the reset unicade function. You may need this function in certain conditions. That's it for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Happy trying.